2023. APC brought us here. They have nothing to tell Nigerians. Prof. Al Kali, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The ruling really of Progressive Congress APC is reportedly uneasy ahead of a 2023 general election, which is why party leaders have been disseminating false information about Al Haji Rabiu Kwankwasu's affiliation with the All Progressive Congress claims. Prof. Rufia Kalai, National Chairman of the Opposition New Nigeria's People's Party, NNPP. Speaking to the media over the weekend, Prof. Alkalai claimed that the All Progressive Congress incorrectly believes that stealing the new Nigeria's People's Party presidential candidates is the only way to keep control of the government despite being aware of Congress's capacity to mobilize support across the country. He claimed that the reason the ruling party is uneasy is that it has nothing substantial to demonstrate to Nigerians for its eight years in power and that all facets of national life in Nigeria, including the economy, security and national cohesiveness are in disarray. He claimed that the All Progressive Congress cannot enlist Nigerian support for its bid for re-election in 2023. When asked to support claims made by some influential people regarding the likelihood of a partnership between the New Nigeria's People's Party and the All Progressive Congress, Prof. Kala rejected the idea. The All Progressive Congress has always thrived on misinformation and believes that anything can be acquired through YU. They are aware that the nominee of her party has asserted his ability to step in and inspire support across the country. They thought that the only solution to the issue that had led the country in this direction was poaching. They thought they could swoop in and snag Kwan Kwasu, our presidential candidate. Sadly, our convention is now done and we have a candidate for presidency. Therefore, the All Progressive Congress ought to issue a reliable statement for outlining a seven-year-old history for Nigerians. So, almost everybody in town, and that is a Nigerian, even a day-old baby, in fact, even a baby in the mother's womb could tell you that the All Progressive Congress has done little or nothing for Nigerians. And that is why I keep saying that I sincerely want to see these people manifesto. I really want to hear what they have to offer. I, I, want, I want to hear what they are going to be preaching on. Because is it in the area of security? Is it in the areas of the economy? Is it health or is it education? Our children have been sitting at home for more than how many months now? And we just heard news that you know the strike is going to be strike is going to be extended. So I want to know what they will use to come in and say, ah, fellow Nigerians who so, fellow Nigerians who, so, you know, now waiting we don't do be this, make a vote for us. No. Nigerians this choice is ours. If we like who, oh, you know, we tell we tell these people that we have actually learned. If we like, we can, you know, we can still sit down and, and say, our mom will never do. The choice is ours. All right. We brought ourselves here, not APC. We must change our ways of life. Mm, well, I don't totally agree with you there. Because, yes, why the APC have their own, you know, they have their own work to do. We as the electorate also have our work. So, but yet, notwithstanding, the APC promised us everything. You know, just like a young lady you are wooing. She did not ask you to promise her those things. You told her those things that, you know, you were going to give it to her. You know? And you, you, you built it in your... You have it at the back of your mind that, you know, that's what they want to hear. And then you come in and you don't fulfill it. And you are, you are already even acting funny. The fact that you know fulfill them. And you are coming to act like, you know, uh, you know the Nigeria don't already... It, it's not, it was not workable. Then why did you say it? Far... For far less than this calamity, PDP was voted out. Nigerians demand apology from the all-progressive government. And as a matter of urgency, they should be dropped from the presidential race. I keep saying that if Tunubu has the solution, he would have long given it to Buhari. So what is Tunubu coming to do is an extension of the damage already done by the all-progressive Congress. We the youth will resist him. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.